Hi there. Uh, welcome to uh, Bedroom Science. Uh, today we'll be talking a little bit about the uh, second half of uh, the catenary reflector design. Um, the, uh, this part of the video, there will be uh, another video for the uh, symmetrical catenary designs, uh, which relies on the free hanging uh, flexible sheet of material um, to create a near parabolic reflector. Uh, for solar applications. Now, in this particular design, uh, we will be talking about a uh, uh, an interesting discovery that I have when I was creating the mathematical model to calculate uh, reflection from a hanging mirror, a catenary reflector. And what I have discovered is that if you take half of the catenary curve uh, right here you have a full curve. Now you can only take half of the side, uh, an asymmetrical uh, reflector. Uh, there's certain characteristics of the, uh, the reflector that is very interesting and I think uh, some way makes it more interesting than the uh, symmetrical design. And uh, we'll go through that in a second here. Uh, what I did is I built a little structure here out of Lego and it would have a um, uh, ability to hang the uh, reflector in there. The reflector is simply a piece of mylar, uh, as I used on the other video. Uh, it is uh, cut out to uh, little narrow slats and taped on the back with some uh, scotch tape, some magic scotch tape. And it's had two toothpicks here just to hold it in place. So all we really do there is, as you can see here, you can easily hang it up. As on the other video, I use it to create the symmetrical mirror. But in this video, we will do the asymmetrical design by lowering it to allow one side hanging down here. And now you have an asymmetrical, an asymmetrical design. And if you can imagine it, the other half will come up like that. Okay, so this would be a, a, a full mirror if I had this side hanging up over here. But because it's free hanging, you have an asymmetrical design. Now, uh, I have in my hand a little laser, uh, just come every day laser, and what I'm demonstrating with this, using this is to show the reflection path of the mirror, and I hope you can see it uh, reasonably well from the video. Uh, on top of this, I will put a piece of paper uh, so that when I have a reflection coming up, you can see, I hope, a pattern, uh, a, a light reflection on top here. Now. What I'll do is I'll take this laser and aim it in one of the slots down here. Okay, so when I put the paper on top of that, you can see that uh, that's, there's a reflection on top on the paper. Okay, now that way you can trace. If you can imagine, if you take a uh, a solar a photovoltaic uh, panel and put it upside down, you can actually catch the rays as they come up. Okay, so that's a way we try to capture the energy. But in this particular video, I'll show mainly how the asymmetrical mirror reflects light. So we'll leave that uh, electric, uh, photovoltaic, uh, electric generation to a later time. Okay. Now, I will aim this uh, laser here into one of the slots, and as I said, I will put a uh, target paper on top so you can see where the location of the laser are, uh, of the reflection is. So now. If the sun is up here, let's say, uh, probably about 75 degrees somewhere in the northern hemisphere, noon, high noon time type of thing, a uh, certain time of the year, you can see that the reflection is right here. Okay? But as the sun set, it sinks down on the horizon. Now, the interesting part is I hope you can catch where my finger is pointing to the uh, reflection. Okay? And it's smooth actually quite little. We're talking about a distance of about maybe an inch as I go down the horizon. Okay, now the sun is practically sinking and setting at this point right now off the horizon. So what we're looking at is a potential for a uh, passive mirror that is self-forming and self-tracking. It's truly an amazing discovery for me, at least anyway, I'm not sure if anybody else is interested out there. But uh, instead of building a complex system of sun tracking, uh, by giving up a slight amount of efficiency, 
okay, you can actually have a self tracking and self forming system. If the wind blows, okay, the mirror will deform, but it will retake its shape, like we talked about in the first uh, video about the self forming characteristic of uh, a catenary curve. But now with the with the asymmetrical form, you have not only self tracking, but we also have self form. Um, I'm sorry, we not only have self track forming, but you also have self tracking the light. Do you imagine that you take a solar cell like that and put it somewhere upside down in the right target place? You can actually have the sun comes in, and as it's set, actually I should do this because the sun would be rising up to noon and then setting. And as you can see, even though this the, the mirror isn't long enough, so to speak, to, to get all the light into the, the solar panel, it will actually can self-track itself and have most of the light concentrate on the panel itself. Uh, very interesting. What I roughly calculated is that uh, we can easily get in a factor of two to four, I would say probably four or five even easily uh, for a panel, for a, a solar panel on a uh, reflector like this. So if you imagine the very low cost of a hanging sheet of metal or hanging sheet of plastic, okay, uh, you can quadruple the sunlight you can capture onto your photovoltaic panel. You essentially reduce the cost of the uh, uh, photoelectric uh, production uh, by a factor of four. Um, that is, if it comes through, it's a pretty significant uh, reduction in cost. Okay, so uh, I hope this um, strikes some of these uh, interest and um, incite them to start thinking about how to apply the concept uh, to um, uh, real uses to help mankind. Um, I imagine that it could be used from something as simple as uh, uh, just residential uh, boosting of your photovoltaic cost. Or you know, imagine uh, photo panels are photovoltaic panels are expensive, uh, are heavy. So if you have an aerospace application, you can take a uh, let's say a colony of the moon, for example, and have a very lightweight reflector. You can essentially quadruple or even double quadruple, maybe even ten times the um, output of your photovoltaic panel that you uh, shoot into space and on your moon colony, so to speak. But I think uh, it has real practical uses uh, for uh, us earthbound, uh, earth-oriented engineers and uh, uh, users of uh, photoelectric uh, photovoltaic electricity. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Um, it's pretty low budget as you can see. Uh, everything here is low budget but uh, small science can be just as important as big science sometimes. So I hope you uh, take the idea seriously and uh, do some good with it. Bye.